Hello there guys, welcome back to my scum single player. Now, this is home. So, this is what I've been working on, I knocked up this cabin, standard bed, two chests of, or, or two units and, and one little box. This has basically just got all the stuff in it that we've collected, that I've collected. All the weapons that we got from the last raid, let's say, and the kill box that didn't really work. I got back, I brought the plane back that we got last time, which I still am so happy about that we got the plane, because I've been trying that for so long, but I finally got it. And I built this little garage to keep all the vehicles in that we want. Uh, a bit overgrown, but... Oh, the pine cone. Oh, I can't pick that one up. Okay. So I've emptied everything. Okay, let's close those. I've emptied everything. I filled up the plane. Fuel from the aviation fuel canister. Uh, what we will just do, because there's quite a lot to talk about today. Because Mr. Tomislav has been leaking lots of things. Leaking. Providing us with images and screenshots of lots of different things. Let's just have a quick nosy through here. Restock on some stuff. Ooh, that's handy. Oop, get back. Um, so yeah, I'll probably put some screenshots money. So good. Screenshots up on the screen throughout the episode. Food. Yes, I need food. I'm quite low on food, actually. Another banger. He loads of those. Another parachute. I've already got one. Broccoli. Um, bolts. Yes, I need bolts for a workbench. <clears throat> That's all I've got. Phaser I don't need. Pavel. Uh, so, yeah, he's been very busy. Thomas Les has been very busy. Scrap. Always need scrap. Um, posting things. The biggest... Um, ooh, or hello. The biggest project, if you like, from them is... The nuclear... The nuclear power plant. And now this thing looks amazing. Especially... With the added effects of the mist, the new um, ambient weather, and the uh, weather effects that they're also implementing with 0 0.8. It's, he did put a, a little video going on, uh, on his Twitter, we know, oh, another one. Uh, walking in the forest. How can I not? There you go. With the the fog and the mist and the ambient weather, and it just looks so good. So you should go and have a look at his Twitter feed, and um, you can see it there, all the stuff that he's put on. But um, and also, oh. Also, um, break it based on the screenshot from the nuclear power plant. Break it was able to determine roughly, I guess, or maybe he may be very accurate. It looks pretty accurate, I have to say, uh, where it's going to be. And it looks like it's going to be in C0 up here, uh, right Basically on this river's edge, in this sort of quadrant, in the middle of C0 up here is where it's going to be. By the looks of what um, Raykit posted uh, on his channel. So if you want to go and check that out, go and have a look at his video. But basically he just did an overlay of the screenshot that you just saw. And... Um, I'm gonna eat. The screenshot we just saw and he basically just went trolling around the map until he could find the location where the screenshot was taken and i would say he pretty much nailed it um 
So yeah, that's coming soon with 0 0.8. We got a bit more of the modular vehicles. There's a little modular boat, which looks quite cool. Nothing yet about the modular planes, though. Uh, I'm quite interested how that is going to work, to be honest. Because, I mean, we don't know how it works. I'm hoping, as I've said before, I'm hoping that you will need to find all the individual components to get the car running, or the vehicle running. So, wheels, engine, maybe spark plugs, maybe not, but you get the gist of what I mean. It's not just going to be battery and fuel anymore and health. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it still will be battery, fuel and health, but, you know, not, not right off the bat. You're actually going to have to, I hope anyway, I don't know, that you're actually going to have to um, like I said, find the components, the tires, the wheels, engine, yada, yada, yada. That would be cool. That's what I'm hoping for, but apparently nobody knows. Planes, however, if planes only spawn in the airfields, so uh, B1, B2 airfield and D4 airfield, as they spawn like this, and all we need is fuel and battery... Uh, and health. Then I'm not quite sure how the modular planes are going to work. Like I said, there hasn't been much mention about modular planes. But could you imagine, if you saw my previous episode, how difficult it is to get this thing out of the patrol of the sentries and not die or get it blown up? Could you imagine if you actually had to find, for example, you know, even if it was just you had to find two propellers or one propeller set and maybe two wheels... And then you'd have to spend time putting the propellers on, putting the wheels on, fuel, battery, health, etc. So I don't know how that's going to work yet. Also, this is some weird bug that I've got. I don't quite know what this is. I literally just put a workbench here as a blueprint. And I came outside. And now it's vanished and is 6,276 meters away. I have no idea what that is or how to get rid of it. So if you do know what that is, let me know in the comments because I have no clue. It was the first time I've seen that. Yeah, see, it's kind of telling me that it's in that direction, but I wonder why. I don't know. Whatever. So yeah, there's a, a lot of things along with the nuclear power plant. There is also the hazmat suit. Now, what I'm hoping for with this hazmat suit is... Come on. There we go. What I'm hoping for with this whole hazmat suit is... Uh, there's also a tractor here as well. But I haven't bothered repairing that yet. What I'm hoping with the hazmat suit is that... I'm taking a wild guess that it's either going to be somewhere near the um, nuclear power plant or you're going to have to get it from a bunker, possibly, or a POI, something like that. I hope they don't put it in the kill box. Uh, that's just my personal preference because I'm not the biggest fan of the kill boxes. Um, I hope they don't put it in the in the kill box. Uh, a bunker is fine if you can find it in the bunker, or maybe there is some kind of quarantine area in front of the nuclear power plant. Hang on, where am I going? Just need to discover where. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, before you actually get into the main area, and what I also thought would be quite cool is. If the um, hazmat suit locker um, or container, whatever it is based on the screenshot, is guarded by one of these new mutated nuclear creatures. So it's kind of like a mini boss fight before you can get... So you have to defeat him 
he, you get a key card or something from him, and then you're able to open the, the locker with the hazmat suit. That would be cool. That would be awesome. Come on, Carl, what's wrong with you? That would be mega. Uh, because they have said um, in the developer notes that they release every Monday that um, there will be a Geiger counter as well. So I'm assuming if you run into the nuclear power plant without that hazmat suit, you're going to get some kind of radiation poisoning and eventually uh, got dead. I'm guessing. <laughs> so you need to find a Geiger counter, I hope. Uh, you need to find... Uh, sorry, love. You need to find the hazmat suit and then you can enter the nuclear power plant where, again, I'm hoping are going to be those new mutated creature-y things. Not, not the... Not the lure of the island. Whoa. Not the the spider queen thing. Not not those creatures that live underground in the craves. But the the three. Again, I'll put them on the screen. The three um, infected or huh, nuclearly infected zombies that have been designed. And I'm I'm calling them mini bosses. I hope they're going to be like a mini boss fight. That would be awesome. So there's so much stuff coming, and as of, I mean, in terms of history, we normally get a new version just before Christmas. So it might happen in November this month. It might happen in December. But either way, uh, I cannot wait for 0 0.8. I think, I don't think we've had quite such a big update as 0 0.8 since... Probably 0 0.5, I would say. I mean, 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 brought new things, don't forget. But 0 0.5 was a massive... And I think, actually, it was 0 0.5 which also had the increased map. The, um... The zero quadrants on the map. I th I'm pretty sure it was 0 0.5. Uh, where am I going? I need to go over there because I want to go... The World War II bunker because I want my car 98. Um, so yeah, I think this one is going to be quite a hefty update uh, when it come, when it drops. And it's going to be dropping... But, oh, petrol station shit. It's going to be dropping pretty soon, I have to say. I hope so, anyway. Uh, we don't know. It's literally just going to appear one day that your game needs updating. And it's going to be like, oh yeah. So I'll leave a link in the description of my video where you can find the um oh dear developer updates the latest one that they did for monday uh which is all the stuff they're working on and they're working on tons of stuff man i mean seriously tons of stuff that's why i said that 0 0.8 is going to be huge and it's going to be a complete game changer um because right now i wouldn't describe this as a horror game currently but with the new mist or ambient weather or fog system that they are implementing I have a feeling it's going to turn into more of a horror game because if you're in the woods you know and it's misty and you can hear the growling and grumbling of zombies and bears, it's going to start giving you the chills, in my opinion. Uh, right, where am I going? I want to go this way. So, I really hope that um, that will happen for me, anyway, personally, to make it a bit more horror-y, a bit more scary, you know. I think it's going to be really, really cool. I hope. We shall see. Soon, time shall tell. Very soon. But yeah, go check out Thomas Love's Twitter. He's always dropping hints and dropping posts and screenshots. So, you know, just go check him out and you'll see for yourself all the different things that he's added. And of course, last but not least, is the modular base building. Which 
again, it's just going to be a massive, massive game changer. Going completely the wrong way. Um, I, I, I'm, getting, I'm talking to you guys and I'm getting completely nutly turned around. No, I was going the right way. Completely nightly turned around. Uh, where was I? Modular base building, yeah. Again, it's going to be a, a massive, massive game changer, in my opinion. Especially for multiplayer servers, people who are heavy on the multiplayer PvE stuff. You know, building a base, fortifying it, because right now... You're kind of limited in terms of bases. It's either you fortify an already abandoned building, which in my opinion, is the best thing to do, because, you know, if you build the wooden things, C4 can destroy it. All right, you can upgrade to the bricks and the mortar and the cement, but C4 can still go through that, whereas uh, if you fortify a brick cabin that is lying around the building, then you can just, you know, C4 won't get through that. I mean, yes, it will destroy your windows and your doors and stuff like that, and it can still be raided, but at least the whole structure isn't going to get annihilated. But with this new thing... Ooh. No, no, don't get stuck. With this new system of the modular base building, you can go up, you can go down, you can go left, right, any which way you want. Um, again, he's posted a few things on his Twitter about it. So, um... Go check that out, and I'm hoping it's going to be ooh, slippery. It's going to be the same kind of Snap 2 system that we already currently have. Um, because sometimes, sometimes base building can be very finickety if it doesn't have the Snap 2 system, but I hope it does have the Snap 2 system. Whoa, why didn't I turn? Wheels turned, but my car went straight. It's understeer. Ooh, I don't want to go up there. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. I get to this bleeding World War II bunker. Tree. Come on. Yeah. Tree again. Get out of this forest and onto the road. Right, there we go. Okay. So, basically, just above this... Um, little U-bend in the road is the World War II bunker that I want to go to. Because... Uh, let me show you. There's a World War II bunker here. And basically, in a straight line, deviating slightly, there's six World War II bunkers. Basically, there's one here. Uh, there's another one down by the train station, by the train tracks where we just were. There's one just up here. So basically, in the straight line, in the lower quarter of the B3, B2, B1, just go in a straight line and deviate, and you'll find the World War II bunkers. So... And as I'm currently on the hunt for my R98, I would, I thought it would be a good idea, whilst we talk about these new and improved things, or updates that are coming, uh, I go hunting for my car 98 in these World War II bunkers, because some of them are quite, are spread quite far. Ow, for God's sake. No, don't get stuck on a rock, please. Thank you. Problem is, find the general location, but then you have to find the actual... Right, we can't really go down there. That's a bit dangerous. Because I do risk getting stuck on rocks, which is just up there, that bunker. I don't want to do... Shit. Hmm. Oh my god, come on. Rock. Ooh, rock, rock, rock. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Come on, get out. I need to get out of here. This is too risky. I'm gonna get wedged in a minute. And I'm also very, very thirsty. I mean, I suppose you... Theoretically, you should go on foot to things and not really try and... Drive into the forest where there is... Although it is a 4x4. Four four. Should do it. Right. Where is this bunker? It's around here somewhere. It's a bit further north. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. See, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. And I don't have any more car repair kits, so... I do need to be a wee bit careful. Here. And not get stuck. There it is. Ah, hello. Get rid of you. Uh, why are you on? Be on single fire. There we go. Right. Let's clear out this area. It'll be... Oops. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, I need to drink. Grab a quick drink. Another one. Or I die of dehydration. Right. Got any more, or are we clear? I think we're clear. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Oh, no, look, see, 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 see. Hmm. This, uh, oh, hello. They're all coming out of the woodwork now. Run away. Ow. Okay. There was a few more than I thought. But they are now dealt with. And they all came running out of the woodwork. Oh, money. I'll take money. And he's good. I'm slightly in pain, but more money is good. We shall survive. It's nowhere near as close as it was trying to get the aeroplane out. Big tactical armor vest there, but pretty wrecked, to be honest. Right, that now should be all of them. Hopefully that pulled them all out. I will... Just be on my guard. Uh, Gunpowder. <laughs> Go up top quickly. I think I can hear another one. Hear another one? No. Oh. Maybe not. Okay. Right. Jump down here, and in we go. This is what we wanted. Uh, not amazing, but I'll take it. I would like my car 98. That's a good find. Ooh, Hunter. Uh, there's another 1911 and a mag for it. That is a stun grenade. Uh, ooh. Why I like coming to World War II bunkers. Ammo. Nothing in these ones. Another scope. We'll take it. And. Some gunpowder. Might as well. 30 odd six. 30 odd six. It's now for the hunter and for the hunter carbine. And for the M1. I do actually have two M1 clips. Can I check these two? 
guess I did. Yeah, so not much in here. Um, go around the front. Anything. And then we can head to the next one. Do want car 98. I do like a car 98. That has got nothing in it. That has got some more 30 old 6 in it. With these big ass cannons. Could you imagine that, man? It's absolutely humongous, that is. What would be nice if they had the shells for those lying around on the floor? Be the size comparison of the shells. That would be cool. Okay. I'm a piercing. I know. A bit battered, but. Right. Uh, let's head on to the next one. Which, like I said, is basically east. Just in a straight... Ooh, should I get that? Sorry, wrong button. Maybe I will go and get that airdrop. Actually. Just because I'm a bit low on food and medical supplies. Uh, it'll be down here at the bottom of this road. Can't see it yet. I will, as it is this close, I might as well go and get it. Pretty much on top of it. I just gotta wait for it, I can't see it yet. Where is it? Where are you? Ow. Let's get back out. Uh oh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Shit. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. So we need to push. Ooh. That causes quite a lot of damage when you do that. There it is. God. My driving skills are not that bad. Why is this so terrible? Come on. Thank you. Right, i got to get out this bit here somewhere safely without... Uh, is this way down? That's a rock. Be careful. I cannot see. Shit, I did it again. Ooh. And push. Uh-oh. This is not good. Push. There we go. That does cause a lot of damage, and I don't have a repair kit, so I need to be careful with that. How are we? Okay, we're not smoking yet. We will be soon. Alright. Get me the hell out of this forest. Thank you. Right. Now we're back on smooth ground again. Let's quickly go and grab this drop. As it was literally right next to me. I mean, it would have been silly for me not to get this. Right. Let's quickly do this and then we'll head to the next bunker, which is in that direction. However, I don't think I'll be going through the forest, though. Uh, six. Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Rafting all the way up to the top. Up quick. Uh, craft. 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 I do have my screwdriver on me, so it is okay. I haven't made that mistake again in a while. Right. Let's get this open. Oh no. Come on. Oh my god. What happened there? Thank you. Being a bit dantic. There we go. There we go. It's easier to see. Get another bobby pin out in a minute. There we go. And this one, and then one more. 
For the last one, I need a new bobby pin. Pick up bobby pin. Half clock pick. Pick lock. There we go. Now we shall search. Uh, a grenade. Might as well. Why not? Uh, ghillie suit. I've already got ghillie suit bottom. Oh, quite a few screwdrivers. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hang on, hang on. Got to do a bit of jiggery pokery here. Uh, let's 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 do some jiggery pokery so this all fits. Please fit. Please be good to me, game. That car repair kit. The way my driving is going. There we go. Uh, Anti-personnel mine. Nah. Right. I think we are good. Yep. Close that back up again. Well, I'm glad we got that. SVD. Oh, yeah. Let's just dump all this stuff in here. Oh, I didn't mean to put that in there. That was the magazine for my... Just throw all this in here quickly. We've still got plenty of time before that thing goes off. I won't repair the car just yet. That is a magazine. Right. Now let's head off to the next bunker. See if we can get my car 98 from this bunker. So it's just by the rail tracks, uh, just above. I will go on the road this time, not in the forest, where I'm probably likely to get stuck, crash, burn, and die. Um, yeah, the next one is pretty much directly east. God almighty. And it's just above the rail tracks, above. The first quarry. So it's on the left hand side. And it should be, as we are on this road, you go past the quarry, which is here. Get us the quarry. And just come off up here. Right, what I'll do, there it is, look. Just peeking through the forest. So it's pretty much due east from the other one. We shall go and investigate this one. Uh, how are we doing for Amunation? Seven. Okay, let's give that a bit of a reload. I also forgot to take my red dot. That's a lot of zombies. Uh, I can't remember if this is a big one or a small one. I don't like the fact that I'm downhill because I cannot see. Jump. Right. There is said bunker. And there are said zombies. Quite a few. Big guy. Get rid of him. Ooh, I told you there was a lot. Bring him out into the open. It's easier to see them. Come on, fellas. See, there's that damn thing again. How are you still alive? Die! Another one. Oh, there was a lot of big guys here today. I think there's another one up there. Did you see movement? Yep. 
that one. He's not dead. Wow, there's so... Oh, dear God. There are so many uh, chunky fellas today. Hmm, interesting. I hope that means that they're guarding something good. Like a car 98. Eat that magazine. A bit battered, but I can repair it. Uh, money is always nice. Helmet, not my, not my style of helmet, I'm afraid. I like the digital camo, and I like the standard camo. And that's about it. Really. Yeah, look, see? One, two, three, four, five. Bolts. Bolts. What, there's been about six or seven of these chunky guys here? Money. A lot. For one area, that is a lot. Get me out of there. Right, I'm hoping that was the last of them. Don't hear anything. Don't see anything. Before we go in, we shall go on. There's another one of those I can use to repair the other one. We shall take it. Oh, there is another one. There he is. Dead now. Any more? That was a lot of puppets for a World War II bunker, I have to say. A lot. I haven't seen that many in a long, long time. Thread, I have thread. Right, now we should be safe to enter. And this one, yes, is hopefully the one. Hopefully the one. I can see a stun grenade already there. More 30 odd six. I may take it. Oi, give me. Might as well take it. Empty. Uh, another mag for the M19. More 30 odd six. Goody, goody, goody. Empty. Ooh, M1 experimental site. Quite a rare find, that is. I'm honest. Uh, what's in this box? Nothing. Sometimes I normally find the rifles lying on the beds or lying on these boxes. Um, but, unless there's one round this corner, yeah, it looks like the Lots of 30 odd 6, which is good. I'm not complaining about the 30 odd 6. Let's just stack these together. It's the way. Oops, wrong one. Oh, it's already. Okay, sorry. I was being a plum. Okay, so that's that one sorted. On to the next one. Still no car 98. Very, very disappointing game. Very disappointing. Where's my car? My car. Okay, on to the next one. Again, it's not too far away. It's just the other side of the bunker in B2. The little bunker. So we shall head there. That's quite a few zombies or puppets spawning at the quarry, I have to say. Ah, let's also um, reload this whilst we're here. Uh, ooh. We're a bit low on this, I have to say. Don't have much of that left. I have to reload my weapons before we go in. Look at them all there, look. Rather a lot of them. Right, onto the road. And follow the road. East. Ooh. Without crashing into the really big concrete pillar. So you just stick on this road, you literally get into the B2 square, and it's in between these two small roads is the next bunker. 
So this is a good little trick if you're looking for World War II stuff. The lower quadrant of B2, uh, B3, B2, B1, you've got six bunkers basically. I mean, you can walk it, obviously it'll take you a bit longer. You've got six bunkers within the vicinity of one another quite close. The other place where it is like that is the... Um, I thought that was a bloody giraffe. Wait, what? I th honestly thought that was an animal then. Of some kind. Just sort of standing there. Zombies there too. Puppets. Sorry, puppets. I keep calling them zombies, but they're actually puppets. They're controlled by Tech One. Ooh, another thing. That I've just thought of. Yeah, so you basically want to turn in... This opening here, this little divot. And then be very careful not to get stuck on the logs and the rocks and everything else. Because if that happens... It, it should be... A bit deeper. Try not to get stuck on things. Avoid them at all costs. Is that it up there? No, that's the uh, compound. It's this side of the compound somewhere. Where are you? Ah. There it is. There's the next one. And why am I not surprised? There's a lot of zombies here. Uh, I need to do a bit of reloading. Uh, before... Oh, no, 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 no. Die! Stay dead. What, did I manage to load that magazine? Almost. Not fully. Now it's fully loaded. Right. Talking of dying. Also with 0 0.8. Oh no. Bolts, 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 bolts. With 0 0.8. Will come. No more free respawns. Because they're planning to implement the banking system into 0 0.8 as well. So, oh, I need another one. So, if you die... I can see that one on the corner of my eye. Run, bring them out into the clearing. Easier to spot them. Where are they? There he is. There he goes. This way he's a bit silent. He's here. Um, yeah, sorry. As they're planning to implement the banking system into 0 0.8, and when you die... You will now have to pay to come back into the island. Uh, it's quite hefty. Two and a half thousand gumbucks, which is uh, actually quite a lot to find. Um, I mean, I think that's the case to spawn back at your base. Bad shot. Two, I think these ones take four of the wooden ones, don't they? Yeah, this should kill it. I'm hungry. That was my belly. Here's another one. There he is. And I'm out. There we go. Right. Oh, hello.
Ah. Kind of run out of ammo. See, this is what happens when you have 15 times the amount of puppets. The goddamn lot of puppets. Nine mil. So, I need to try and get all my arrows back now. Yeah, as I was saying about the banking system before I was rudely interrupted by a puppet, um, you'll have to pay to respawn back at your base. Um, they're also hoping to implement the AT ATM where you can store your money safely as well, or the bank rather, in the trading outpost. So it's going to be really interesting. Ooh, 100 bucks. Wow. Quite a lot, actually. I think that's the most I've ever found in one go. Um... It's going to be quite interesting to see how it works, I have to say. Bolts I want. Let me just get my arrows back before we go in there. Some of them, anyway. Sure, I've lost some. I had a carbon one, and you should have a carbon one as well. Didn't have many carbon ones to begin with, so... Well... Oh! Looks like a porcupine! Gimme, 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 gimme. And he had money. Nice. Right, okay, now we can jump in here. And hope for a car. What are we... Boring. Let's go up. Up. Oh, I also need to... Have a bit of a nibble on something. I do have some... Oh, I got my zucchini. Let's have that. That. Yeah. Just chow down on this. Hopefully get rid of my hunger. Come on. Another one of those bloody magazines. And another one. Two of them. Don't want them. I have enough. Thought I heard another one then. Um. Still hungry? How can I still be hungry? Ooh. Hello, Mr. M1. I shall take you. I shall take you very much so indeed. I do like an M1. And we are collecting ammo for it. And I have two clips for it. So, peace. But again, see? Always with the M1911. It is the most common thing to find. After... Okay. Um. Um, um, um. We need to do a little bit of jiggery pokery. Give me a second. Need to make this so I can get it. Give me a backpack. There we go. I'm very happy with that. And we've still got in here to check yet as well. Another one. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Take that. Getting plenty of ammo for it. Search. And a piece of scrap. Goody, goody, goody. I like, I like, I like. Right. Uh, head back up to the car. And we shall go and hit the next one. Did I check this? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Let's go and dump all this in here. Let's see, there's that thing again. I don't know. Why? Don't do it, Mr. Wolf. Just don't. Mean it. Stay where you are. Or I will be forced to use lethal force against you, which I don't want to do. Eat that. I don't even see it. Where is it? Somewhere just down that dip. But I can't see it. Right. Okay. Next one. It's a bit further on. 
we need to get back. We need to go down. What we need to do. Uh, crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Should be a little dirt track down here. Also, I think, going back to the, yeah, there it is, going back to the topic of 0 0.8, I think they are going to remove the map as well. Or maybe not remove it completely, but um, do it so you have to find maps. Uh, yes, this is where we want to be. Head along here. Oh, that's a tree. Right, this is probably going to be the last bunker for today. I don't want to bore you guys with too much of my voice. And unfortunately, no car. Which, again... <laughs> but, two M1s. So... You win some, you lose some, I guess. Right, because it's too dangerous to drive through the forest, we're just going to stick to the road and go the long way around. But if you were on foot, you could just literally go straight across. And now we can go across... Because it is open and clear. Look, man, it is... Ooh! It is a beautiful island. You ignore everything that tries to kill you. It's an awesome island. I do... I really, really do like Scum a lot. And I cannot wait for the... The changes that are coming. Right, so... You want to get onto this dirt track... Yeah. But this one? Uh, no, it's the one, it's that one in the forest, sorry. You want to get onto this road. There we go. Follow this through a little bit. You go past... I, th I thought that didn't look right, I have to say. I thought that looked funky. Yeah, you want to go past this complex here. This is what you want to do. Without hitting trees. Strange place for a complex. Is there another, another vehicle in there at all? Uh-oh. Actually, a really good place for a base, that is. If you think about it. Slightly hidden in the forest. Probably got a workbench in there. A really? Oh, yes, alright. Stall the car. Right. This is the road that we want to be on. God. Damn, she's wearily today. Right, and the World War II bunker is basically down there. So you can either stick to the road. No. Such a twat. Right here. Not down there. It's here. See? It's right in front of my face. This is where we want to be. Right. Last one. And we get a car 98. We have four of 15 bullets loaded. That is not enough. Hopefully this will be enough. Can't hear anything. Good sign. Be nice if there was none here for a change. Oh, I don't think there is. Just get up. Oops. Oh, there is none here today. Okay. Nice. Save a bit of my ammo. Another one of those bloody magazines. Leave me alone. Ooh, lead plate. That's good. Always good to find lead plateage. Some papier. Right. Car 98. Come on, game. Give it to me. Please. Uh, we will take the ammunition. 
empty. Uh, ooh, look, a whole box. And more. Oh, we're getting ammo for the M1. God's sake. Ooh, a knife. Haven't found a knife. <clears throat> Apart from the hunter. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, there's a little bit more ammo. But no R98 on the bed. Rather worrying. Uh, there is a bayonet for a Mosin. Now, if there isn't one here... Oh. I don't think we're going to find it today. I have to say... Search that one. No. It's not here. Okay. Oh well. We got two M1s out of it. We got quite a lot of 30 odd 6. So, um. 30 06, however you wish it to be pronounced. We got quite a lot of that ammo, which is always handy. So, um. Yeah, I think, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. See, again, that thing. Why? I don't know why. And I don't know how to get rid of it. But we did get a few good thingy majiggies today. I have to say. I'm still looking for some ammo for my favorite weapon in the game. I don't have any. We got the SVD. We got quite a lot of things. Quite a lot of things, I have to say. And I got plenty of what's the rest of it no let's just add those oh it has been added i mean they're not the best quality but they're still going to do some damage they're still going to do some damage that's that's already added Those two. But yeah, we are getting ammo. Uh, that's a whole box. What we want. Let's trace around. Add those two together. Okay. That'll do. Uh, oh, there's more trace arounds there. Sorry. One moment. Add these two together as well. Boink. And what's that? Oh, that's for the... Uh, yeah, that's for, that's for the SVD. Nice. Okay, guys. That's where I'm going to leave it. With a beautiful view. Actually, let's go a bit. Let's go a bit closer. Why not? Let's go a bit closer. We shall say goodbye on a nice view. Enjoy the scenery with the leaves falling. Well, you can get up this little hill. We're going to have to think about repairing this soon with the repair kit that we just found. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. There we go. Up here. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, thanks very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Ding dong that little bell. You get notifications of whenever my videos go live. And I'll catch you all on the next one.